So what happens then is that they set up shop, so to say, along the blood vessels and they spew out all these chemicals that are then inflammatory in nature. So let's just look at a few slides and I'll show you. Uh, this is actually a blood drop uh, that is looked under a very powerful microscope. And as you see here, you have all the different red blood cells right here. And they're supposed to be round and nice, but as you see, they, they don't look that happy. And here, right here, you see it's actually looked like a little worm, but it actually may be a, a spirochete, which actually is, are known to cause Lyme. And uh, these little pathogens, and you can see here, these little floaty guys with flagellas fl uh, floating all over, they spew out chemicals that creates inflammation in the blood vessel. And as a response, and the body then sends cholesterol to try to soothe the blood vessel. And you can move forward, you see all these different pathogens. And even up here, this is what's called a biofilm. And that's when you have a number of different pathogens that come together and create a community. And you can see some worms sticking out right here out of that little uh, community, so to say. And they create these biofilms just to protect themselves from, the, uh, from the immune system so that the immune system really can't see them, nor can the immune system eff efficiently attack them. And you see here a little pathogen also, a little, uh, a little parasite actually that's moving around. So you can actually look, you see here, here, you see all this, this crud all over and all these are then different pathogens within the blood causing then that inflammation within the blood vessel which can then create a, uh, an, um, an immune system reaction where you have a lot of cytokines that are released and creating that inflammation. So let's, let's move to the next slide. So this is the next slide that we're seeing, and this is actually done with the same microscope that I have in my office, where you then look at uh, just a drop of blood underneath the microscope. And this is a dry sample, which shows how the, uh, the blood then coagulates. And you can then see certain pattern within the blood drop, depending on what's going on within the blood. So for instance here, this is known as a heart stress sign right here. You see the little, L, you know, little larger bubbles and that's, that's an indication then of a cardiovascular stress. So when you come into my office, you, you get a little drop, a drop of blood and we put on a microscope, then you can see these type of things. Then also you see all these white speckles all over, all this white everywhere. It's actually showing then oxidative stress and it's that oxidative stress that creates that inflammation that weakens then the blood vessels. And you also see these little dark areas right here. And you also, if you go up here, you see these dark areas around here. And that relates actually to parasites uh, that is in the body that's putting stress within the body. So uh, you can find out a huge amount of what's going on cardiovascularly and what may be the factor behind uh, why there is inflammation uh, just by looking at a, at a drop of blood. So. At